<laughs> this is Meg. I don't know if you, I did show you when she was a tiny little puppy. She's five months old now. She's an Aussie doodle. She, yeah, she joined our clan oh, three months ago, I guess. And she's our baby miniature Aussie doodle, which is Australian Shepherd Cross Poodle. And she's so adorable, but she's a naughty little girl sometimes, as puppies are, but we just mm, love her to bits. And she's fitted in very well with the, the posse of other animals that we have here, haven't you, Meg? And she's always with me when I'm painting, which is not always a good thing, because you end up with colour all over you, don't you? Hey, Meggie. Yeah. Oh, she can lie there. You can lie there while I paint. You can lie there while I paint. Well, I better get moving and paint something today. She's quite comfortable on here because after I've bathed her, this is where I set up to blow dry her with my paint blow my paint dryers and where I clip her. So she's a good little girl. Okay, we better get down to business. It's kind of exciting and nervous because I'm using this U Butte hair dryer which I bought ages ago and it was very expensive at the time but what really excited me when I seen it was the different diffusers the shapes because I thought oh my goodness that will be brilliant for blowing Dutch paws chaos blows and this so I bought it and I thought well if it doesn't work it's a very expensive hair dryer so obviously I will have it in the house and I tucked it away. My husband said, probably because you didn't want me to see it. And I said, that's not a problem. <laughs> so today I'm actually gonna try it. If it doesn't work, then it will go in the house. I'm going to use my hair. But if it works brilliantly, then it was worth every penny, wasn't it? So I've got this lovely 60 by, 60 by 30, I think it is, or 40 gallery wrapped canvas a lovely canvas I have um, put my masking tape on the back and my giant push pins they're giant ones so it works excellent at holding your duvalaki your canvas anywhere you can move it and it you know you haven't got to worry because you hammer them in and when you're getting them out I always wiggle them backwards and forwards and then pop them out or you can hit them with your hammer a little bit. So that's a, that's a really good preparation to do if you've got a nice canvas that you do intend on definitely selling. So I've got the hair dryer plugged in. I don't know what diffuser to use, but we'll get to that in a, a little bit. I guess. I've got some nice colors, so I am going to use them. And I'm going to kind of do a nice big dirty cup pour over it first of all so i've got this lovely sort of pale peppermint in there i'm just thinking i'm just going to load this cup up with me bits and bobs i think i'm going to have the whole base in in these sort of uh, greeny tones i'm adding the white and i'm just giving it a good squirt in there and then stirring it, stirring it a couple of times. Not too much because I don't want to um, make the paint just a very pale green. Then I'm going to put in this Viridian green. And squirt that with a bit of white as well. It's just so I've got a nice background other than a plain white, black or coloured background for my a Dutch pour or chaos blow that I want to um, test this blow dryer out with. So this is just a light of a, it was the Viridian, I believe, and then I just um, added white to it to blend it down. So I'll add the last of that. Like I said, this is the last of these colors. I really need to use them up because they're going pretty sort of chunky, which I could add some more water to it I guess or pouring medium but I'm gonna try this anyway so I'm really hoping it works because this is a lovely this is a lovely canvas to work on so put the last of that in there I don't think I'm gonna do a flip cup 
I think I'm going to sort of just, um, well, you'll see, you will see. So it's a little white. Now I might put the white already on my edges so the paint hasn't, I haven't got to worry too much about tilting all this colour off if I've already got the white to tilt off. Yeah, let's get this going. So I'm just going to literally rim and pour it on, I guess. Oh, those colours look delicious. They certainly look like mint, minty ice cream. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Now I'm going to do just a gentle tilt, so hopefully covers this canvas. Might put a bit of white in between that to make sure I've got enough to stretch about. Okay, let's do this. Just a bit of a different background. Sort of gives you a little bit more time to think about what's happening. Oh, that's over the edges nicely, isn't it? And just give it a little a tootsie, a tootsie tootsie. Now, always remember to tilt the paint back and recentre, so you don't get left with a big chunk of paint down one end or the other. Works better. That's quite nice as it is. You could leave that absolutely, leave that totally, and. Um, do I don't know a scenery on it or create make it into a oh, anything you choose really rightio let's <sighs> colors for the top are going to be navy now, this is a little bit thinner this one so I will go It's the navy and then I'm gonna use my berry delicious which I custom make I get asked all the time what's the recipe it's a very dark red cool red and then you add phthalo blue and then you add a blob of black if you want it to go almost black cherry -ish. so that's that then I will add um, this is custom colour too, I call it champagne gold. It's 50% metallic gold, 50% metallic silver. So, lovely colours. Let's just see how this dryer works now. I'm thinking, should I take my gloves off because I don't want to get my dryer all full of paint if it's not going to work real well, because then I'll use it in the house so i'm pretty eager to try this big it's like it's like you know angled as well so i thought oh that might do really well just not sure whether you just push the duvers in there i like working with my dryer this way so it's got a cool blast it's got a temperature there which is cold, medium or hot, and then this is your speed. So I'll start off on a low speed. Oh, that's... Let's just try this, hey? Scoopy-doo. You don't do nothing. <laughs> try it the other way. Yeah, 
Well, maybe it takes practice, but I'm not that keen so far. Um, I don't know whether to get my little dryer now and blow this out further. The colors are beautiful, but oh, I do not like that at all. I don't know, I'll try my little one. <laughs> when the garden won't stop giving back. Circle fresh cut grass I couldn't leave some stuff like that The colours are stunning but oh, they really are but there's loads in this that I do not like but I know I can fix it. I know I can fix it and soften it up with my balloon. Of course you can. So, wow, look at that. Beautiful. Let's see how it goes. If not, I, oh, look at that. I will absolutely spray it if it's not because this is such a lovely canvas. I do not want to waste this green. Oh my goodness. softens it all up and makes it work so much better than that disaster of a blowout. Which is fine because I do believe that this paint will absorb into the canvas, but that's quite nice. But I don't know. Let's see if I can. Sort of just with my choppy sticky thing. Just add a bit of definition to it. Do that the paint's falling back in, but. Wanted to separate some of the chunky bits. There's enough paint on there that it will fall back in. I'm not sure about absolutely love the colours, but I'm not sure about the shape of that blowout. I think my other hairdryer works so much better until I get to, um, uh, what you call it, sort of uh, get used to using it and I'll see if I can use it in a different way. What do you guys think I'll, um, might play with it a bit more or might not, but you'll see on the end. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this crazy journey. It was testing a very expensive dryer and it just goes to show you that my $3 dr dryer or $4 dryer that I found in a charity shop has done me brilliantly, but I'm just so panicked about
about it, caulking it and not having a dryer that I really love to work with. So anyway, got to try these things. All right, my lovelies, bye for now. Circle fresh cut grass I could really use some stuff like that Could you use some too?